Hey again, everybody. So, Mom, this time it's your turn. And this is going to be a little bit different. Um, you know, I've told you before and I've written some things about how amazing you are and the things that you taught all of us about the value of a dollar and stretching a dollar and prioritizing um, ways to spend money or what to spend it on and how to save it and make it count. You know, you made our holidays and birthdays and everything so special even when it took a lot for you to be able to save and do all those things and um, so many times I just found myself as a mom myself doing things the way that you would do them or thinking about okay what would mom do with this um, I have tons of good memories and things where you know we laughed and laughed or something would be so funny that you would lose all sound completely and just kind of fold over on the table in front of you and shake with silent laughter and we all just would die laughing with right along with you it was so funny and so fun just to see you so happy and enjoying yourself or whatever it was um, but more than any of those things more than the million memories and you know making holidays together and wrapping and setting fun fancy tables and travels and all those things more than any of that what I really want you to know is you know the times that I've told you that even today when I get sick that I feel like you know when I'm really feeling badly I feel like I want my mom I just I wish you know I want my mom yes I'm an adult and yes I can cope and yes I can deal with all those things but it still is the way I feel every time I want my mom because you were the person that in those times that I was sick or sad or whatever you made me feel safe and loved and special and like everything would be okay and um, you know I've told you that before but I wanted you to know just a couple of weeks ago a uh, patient came in by an aid car after having fallen she was 96 years old and um, confused uh, hurting we got her you know tucked away straightened out ordered tests and I was holding her hand talking to her for a minute asking another couple of questions and she looked up at me and she said I want my mother and I almost started bawling with her just right then. But I can, you know, if I make it to 96, I have a feeling I would be saying the same thing. I want my mother. I want my mom. That's how special you are, mom. And don't ever doubt otherwise. I love you. You all know how special my mom is. And she had a really special talent that all my brothers and sisters know of, she had a special way of making us all feel like we were her favorite. Now, they know it was me. <laughs> but, no, I mean, she's the most organized woman I've ever known in my life. She never forgets anything. Look at all of us in this room, and she never forgets a single one of your occasions. Not a birthday, not an anniversary, Nothing for year after year after year after year. Uh, I don't know anyone that could do that but mom. I am blessed to have her as my mom. And mom, I just love you very much. Thank you. Oh, and uh, I don't have time to come around and tell everybody goodbye. I'll never get home. So. You guys, safe journeys wherever you're headed tonight. Uh, we all love you very much, and some of us just have to hit the road. We got uh, Shauna's dad is expecting Father's Day tomorrow, and uh, it's actually Shauna's birthday tomorrow, so we've got plans for that as well. So you guys, it's wonderful to see you all. Love you all very much. Have a safe journey, and everybody stay safe. I was super lucky to grow up like getting to be around grandma so much as a little kid, but there's tons of memories growing up my whole life, but um, I think it's just been really special that we were blessed to be able to move back to the Tri-Cities just right after grandpa passed away, and so we missed that last time with him, but to be able to come back right after and since then get to have so much time 
with grandma spent one-on-one -on -one or um, or with other people has just been so special to me and I'm so glad that I've been able to be here and spend that time with her and um, every friend I have whenever I'm with anybody everyone's always asking me how's your grandma doing how's your grandma doing and I think about it and I can say she's doing really well and I just think that grandpa would just be so proud of her she's just done such a, such a good job and she's just really impressed me with her independence and her growth and I just think grandpa would be so proud of her Who's next? Play with it, sweetie. Good job. So I just, um, I know all of you, we've had a, a big day, and I know you've all, um, it's been just a wonderful time to remember Dad, but I think one of the most important things dad would want us to do is to take care of mom. And I think I'm just so proud of all of us for coming around her. And so we're so lucky to have her in our lives. And we are especially lucky because we get to see her more often. But I would like to, um, mom said to me more than one time, you know, you are just like a daughter to me. And I just want to tell mom, you know, you are my mom. You've been my mom for 40-some years, and you you always be my mom. And I just thank you for the example that you've set in the way you took care of your home, raised your kids, your hospitality, and the way that when I hear your little knock, knock, knock on my door, how my heart brightens up just knowing you're going to be there soon and to see your face. And so I just, um, just want to thank you for all the years that you've been my mom. One of my absolute favorite things about uh, Grandma is her cooking uh, and the amazing things that I've had over the years that she's made. And the thing that I just think about years and years, uh, f I mean, that I've thought about for, you know, forever is the, 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 uh, uh, I've thought about it so well that I can't remember the next thing I was going to say. Uh, <laughs> Uh, girls, so I heard the story many years ago about how uh, Grandma had said to uh, the, you know, aunts and uncles, her, her kids, uh, said, you know, what do you want for Christmas for food? And, uh, and rather than turkey or, uh, you know, something fairly traditional, they said that they wanted Mexican food, and Grandma said, all right, well, let's do it. And so uh, having many Christmases with Grandma's enchiladas uh, is one of, my, uh, <laughs> one of my absolute memories. And the, the legacy of that recipe, uh, when I went away to my mom, you know, my mom made it for years, uh, Grandma's enchiladas that are just I mean, how many people have had Grandma's enchiladas? Everyone's had Grandma's enchiladas, right? <laughs> they're just, I mean, they're amazing. And the chili rianos are right up there, too. But those, uh, you know, when I went away to, to college, I was like, oh, man, I'm going to miss gra Grandma's enchiladas. And so I learned how to make them, and we would make them every single week uh, for a group of friends. And it was just like, these are, these are my grandmother's enchiladas. Um, so, but I, the thing I just love about all that is, just how um, how much Grandma is aware of and uh, in respond to the people around her, um, and that it doesn't matter what the tradition is or what the expectation is. Well, that's not what you know you're supposed to have for Christmas or whatever. 
Um, she's like, well, this is what this is what we're gonna have, and I just love that about you, Grandma. I love who you are, and I just I'm just so grateful for just all the wonderful things that you've made and given to all of us. So thank you so much. I love you. So you also know that mom, grandma, begrudgingly will go to a casino every once in a while <laughs> and kind of enjoys it. What's up, pumpkin? Love you, great grandma. So there's a picture that came up on this screen over here with grandma with a fan of dollar bills. I just want you to know those used to be mine. Those dollar bills used to be mine and Diana's. We thoroughly enjoy playing 31, which some of you learned today. Right, Brenda? Brenda is a champion at 31. Uh, if, hey, Grandma, if you're looking for a sucker, Brenda is ready to lose money to you. She's a champion of getting 16. <laughs> you're a little over halfway there. Anyway. Mom loves her games. She loves people to come over and play those games with her. 31, Sevens, Yahtzee, uh, what's the, oh, Farkle. She's a big fan of Farkle, and she's a big fan of you great-grandchildren playing Splat. She's a big fan of Splat, so if you have Splat, go play with great-grandma. Love you, Mom. Who's next? Do you have something you want to say? Okay. Happy, happy birthday, Great Grandma. Good job. Good job. Okay, Mom. I wasn't warned about this, that we were going to get to talk to you, so I don't have anything written, so I'm going to just try to get through this. You know how much you mean to me. You know how much I love you and how much I love spending time with you, doing things with you, doing things for you. You know how much I appreciate everything you've done for all, all of us over all the years. And um, I have to tell you that, you know, one of the things that I have always appreciated from the time I was very young, you've made each and every one of us feel so special when it's our birthday. You go out of your way, and you're so generous with every occasion, whether it's Thanksgiving, Christmas, Easter, it doesn't make any difference. You've always made every special occasion more special because you're so special. And I have to tell you, you throw a great party, Mom. <laughs> And Dad would love this. <laughs> Anybody else? Are you coming this way, Katrina? All right. So I debated talking about this while we're, oh, hi. Well, we were talking about Grandpa as well, but since we, the second opportunity arose, um, Grandma, I just want to say thank you for every time that we came over, even though there's 3,000 of us, that when we were there, we were, you were present with us. And even though there were 3,000 others of us, it, you and Grandpa always did an incredible job of making us feel super individual and like you were always genuinely interested in what was going on with our lives. And I have tried so hard to work that into my children's lives as well. And I just want to say thank you for being that example. Anybody else?
Okay, I, get to, I guess I get to go last. I went first the last time, I get to go last this time. <clears throat> Mom, you uh, have dedicated your life to taking care of us, and taking care of us really well. You know, I can't imagine the, the challenge associated with having six little kids. You know, um, we, we had four, and they weren't nearly as close together. Six that are really close together? That's amazing. And, and we not only survive, we thrive. Because you did an amazing job. Because you were committed every minute of every day to taking care of us. And I just want you to know how much I love you and what an honor it is for me to be able to live close to you and be able to help you with whatever you need. It is truly an honor, and I love you. <laughs>